A living will of eternal value. Two wills were manifested in the holy silence and in the holy reverence during the second live streaming of the traditional Tridentine holy sacrifice of the Mass of the Day at 2 o'clock p.m. Detroit time from Limerick, Ireland. Give God your will and live for Him alone, for His greater honor and glory first and foremost, and then for the sake of all others, including one's own poor soul. What happened during the traditional Tridentine Holy Sacrifice of the Mass celebrated in Latin on a Thursday of Reparative Atonement on June 25th, 2020? As always, every moment is extraordinarily wondrous and unfathomably beautiful. And also, there was this, a living will of eternal value. Your last will and testament suddenly came to mind. I leave my earthly possessions, acquired during this life for their proper upbringing, to my children, along with the task of helping their Oma, my mother and their surviving maternal grandparent, acquire those things from among them that her heart desires, should I not outlive her. Note that in 2017, Almighty God willed Joseph Carl Publishing's traditional Catholic intellectual property to Christ's Society of St. Pius X through the Armada or Ray Township Chapel here in Metropolitan Catholic Detroit in the United States of America. Then, what followed as the celebration of the traditional Tridentine Holy Sacrifice of the Mass continued in the natural was the offering of a living will of eternal value to our triune God through the Immaculate Mother of God at Christ's high altar where heaven meets earth on Mount Calvary. I give my life to God to be spent in his service as he wills in imitation of and in union with Christ crucified. May his Immaculate Mother acquire from it all that her Immaculate Heart desires. Honoring God's greatest two commandments through the proper and holy execution of the self-will. The real value to be acquired during one's mortal life is through a life lived properly and sacrificially lovingly, as Almighty God wills, guided by the Holy Spirit, in imitation of and in union with Christ, for the greater honor and glory of our triune God first and foremost, and then for the sake of one's fellow man. The precious value obtained from it lasts forever into eternity. Through the holy sacraments divinely provided to us, for us, we are unified with our triune God through Christ, our divine redeemer, divine restorer, divine remedy for all, and the divine bridegroom of every soul. The real presence of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament is the greatest source of divine supernatural grace we have on earth. The price of heaven is carrying the cross. Servant of God, Father John Anthony Hardin, S.J. Trust all things to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and to Mary, help of Christians, and you will see what miracles are, St. John Bosco. To learn more about Almighty God, our Father of Mercies, work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus, your vital, irreplaceable, indispensable, and God-given holy apostolate of reparation, spiritual combat training, devotion for the dying, divine justice for every soul, how to prepare for a holy death, for prayers for the holy souls in purgatory and for more traditional Catholic faith formation throughout the lifespan, visit www.thework-of-reparation-to-the-holy-face-of-jesus.com. Jesus said to Sister Mary of St. Peter, By my holy face you will work wonders, appease the anger of God, and draw down mercy on sinners, and he still needs it.